get ready to push the fast forward button on your social media creation. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how you can create 50 posts in minutes and not just regular posts, Instagram reels. This is gonna be a wild roller coaster ride. Hey, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Maggie Carey. I'm a social media strategist and I'm here to help busy business owners create their social media with less time, money, and stress. On today's episode, I am going to share with you a process that is going to take you from start to finish on creating your social media content in Instagram Reels. You are not going to believe how fast this is. I did another video not too long ago about how to create static posts, but I played around around a little bit and I found out there is a way to apply it to our Instagram reels. Are you ready to take this journey with me? All right. So you are going to need four tools to do this. You are going to need chat GPT. You are going to need paid version of Canva. You are going to need Excel or Google Sheets. That's free. And if you really want to fast forward your postings, you want painless posting. Get ready to use all those four tools today. I am so excited to share this with you. The first step is to create a prompt that will generate content for you. I'm going to be creating quotes for a business coach. We're gonna be creating what's called buckets in social media. Keep in mind when you're creating content on your social media, you wanna have variety. Some people call them buckets, some people call them categories. So you don't wanna be posting the same thing. For a business coach, for example, they may be talking about leadership. They may be talking about success. They may be talking about entrepreneurship. They may be talking about strategy and they may be talking about mindset. All of those topics can be fed into chat GPT, but it's best to do them individually. I'm going to share with you what I did so you can see how it worked so well. I went into chat GPT and I put in this prompt. I can't take full credit on this prompt. I got it from a YouTube video from InVideo. I just modified it for my own purposes. As you can see here, it says, I need 10 reliable short quotes about productivity. These need to be divided into two parts where the first part is a hook makes the reader intrigued to know the second part. The language needs to be super simple. See how I'm telling it, how I want it to be super simple, not flowery or preachy, and then don't use complicated words. Now, this is what I added because guys, in case you didn't know, I'm a computer geek. So I'm always trying to like geek out on stuff like this. Here's what I did. I added this one little bit. I wanted three columns labeled quote number first half and second half. And you're going to see why I did this in a short bit. And I gave them two examples of what I was looking for. By giving ChatGPT these examples, you are helping it understand exactly what you want so you don't have to tweak it as much. You do a little bit of this front leg work and my gosh, it saves you time. This prompt generated 10 quotes for me. Remember, you have to read them. You just can't take them as is. And you need to make sure that they resonate with you, your brand, and of course, your tone of voice. If you're looking here, what it did was it generated the 10 quotes. The next step is to take those quotes and top them in a Google sheet. Now, all you need to do is copy those quotes in. Let me show you how that's done. I go into Google Drive. I did file new. I created a new spreadsheet. Of course, I'm going to name it. It'll be quotes reels. And then in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy. So click and drag, right click, copy, however you like to copy and paste. Make sure A1 is selected, right click on it and paste. And you'll see here that it gets added in. The other thing I did was I went back. That's my productivity. Remember, I've got five buckets, right? I went in and then I said, tell me about mindset. And it created five mindset. Copy and pasted that. Then I got lazy. And I said, well, instead of doing the whole prompt all over again, it already knows what I want. I'm just going to say in the same style, I need 10 relatable short quotes about entrepreneurship. And it did that. And then I said, I needed leadership and it did that. 
And then I said, I needed strategy. And I added from business coach because I wanted to see if it would give me anything different. And it gave me that. I copy and pasted them into this Google sheet. I did add a couple of things and I'll tell you later on why, but I added a column called bucket and I just now titled each section. Quotes one through 10 was productivity. And you just have to type productivity once. And if you click on that box and drag down, it'll copy the word productivity down for you. What I've created is a spreadsheet that has four columns in it. The first column has the quote number, and I made sure they were all sequential and different. When you copied them over from chat GPT, it was quote one through 10. I use that cool drag feature that both Excel and Google Sheets has. Let's say this was empty. I'll just delete these just so you can see how it works. When I click on quote 10 here, I just click and drag, boom, it populates it and numbers it for me. The reason I do things like this is because I wanna keep track of what their names are. It's great to have them numbered and keep things organized so you know which one is which because they all kind of have a similar look and feel. You wanna make sure that there's some distinguishing factor between them. We've got four columns. We we have the quote number, we have the first half of the quote, the second half of the quote, and then we have the category, the bucket of which category that this is in. Keep in mind, the reason we have the first and the second half is because the first half is going to kind of be the teaser or the hook. The second half is going to have the conclusion, that satisfaction that they're going to get when they watch the entire reel. We're going to be dividing it up. Now that we've got the spreadsheet all set up and ready to go, we have to do one thing to get it ready to be used in our step three. That step is to export it as a CSV file. When you're in Excel or you're in Google Sheets, you need to go into file, you need to say download, then you need to say comma separated value, a CSV file. I'm gonna click that, it's gonna download for me and I am all ready to go to step three. Step three is Canva, my favorite design tool. With Canva, you have to keep in mind, you need the paid version for this, not the free version. The free version is great, don't get me wrong, and it does a lot of stuff, but when we're talking about this advanced stuff, you gotta pay to play. It is well worth it. Believe me, if you can save one hour of your time, isn't that worth the nominal fee that you have to pay Canva for their pro version? I believe so. This bulk feature that we're gonna be using is not available in the free version. And the other step we're going to do is when it comes to downloading, make sure you keep staying tuned because if you mess this up, you're going to create a big name there for yourself. And I don't want that to happen because I want you to be happy. All right, here we are in Canva. You are going to select Instagram Reels. When we're in Reels, what's going to happen is it's going to give you a blank canvas and then you have designs here. I searched for a quote and if you can see here, there's ones that have video, there's ones that are simple. I kind of like both of these for different reasons. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and that's going to add that. I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to do this because this is good for you to know. It's a, a little Canva trick. Here, I like the font in the second one. I like how this says good morning and it has the two because remember when we created that spreadsheet, we had a first half and we had a second half, right? This is what's going to make our reel interesting because the first half is going to be one font type and animation. And the second half is going to have a different font with different animation. This is so cool. Let's go back in here in the Canva. I'm going to copy those two text elements and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on this one text element here and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to paste the other text element that I liked. I copied it in here. And the next step is going to be where it gets fun. This is where we're going to be calling out our bulk create app. Make sure that your design is exactly the way you want it before you go to the next step. I promise me, don't go to the next step until you make sure your design is solid. We've got our design here. Notice down here where it says really great site. This is one of my little pet peeves when it comes to Canva and people creating using Canva. Do not leave really great site on your graphic. Put either get rid of it, delete it, or put your business name in there. Don't drive me crazy.
look, I want you guys to look awesome and professional online. And when you have something like that, it, it doesn't do it. It doesn't make it look good. By the way, one thing I forgot to do, remember I added that second page here. We got to make sure we delete it. I'm going to click those little three dots and I'm going to delete page. Now we just have the one page and we can see this a little bit better. I just zoomed it up a little bit. And here where it says a really great site, you want to make sure you put your own business name in there, just like that. We've got daily motivation here. We've got good morning and we've got more text. When I play this, this is something to keep in mind. See how that rises and this is the typewriter effect. And I know that because if I click on good morning, see it says rise in animation. And when I click this one, it says typewriter. One of the things I may want to do is just ever so slightly move this down because good morning, our first, remember when we created our quotes for our reels, the first one, it may be a bit longer. Look, some of these are long and I don't want to have to edit as much. And you'll see what I mean shortly. The next step I'm going to do is go into apps. I'm going to search for bulk because I'm looking for the bulk create app. When I click on that, I'm now given this nice little three step, one, two, three process. I'm going to upload that CSV file that we had. This is going to be really fun. When I upload that CSV file, you're going to see it gives me four data fields that were identified, the quote number, which we're not going to use in this example, the first half, which is going to be what good morning is going to be, the second half, which is going to be what this smaller part is, and then bucket is going to be something fun. What we can do here is we can take that and put it up here in this banner if we wanted to. This is what you need to do. I'm going to click on daily motivation here. I'm going to right click on it and it tells you right here, right click on the element in your page to connect it to your data. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit connect data and that is going to be the bucket. Then I'm going to go to where it says good morning. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make that connect data and that's going to be the first half. And then I'm going to click this. I'm going to right click, connect data, and I'm going to make it the second half. I'm still a little worried. So I'm going to bring that down a bit. Are you ready for the magic to happen? I'm going to hit continue and it pulls all of my quotes. It's going to tell me it's going to generate 50 pages. I'm going to click the generate button. Are you ready to see what happened? Now that we've done bulk create, you can see it created 50 pages here. We're, we're going to just make it a little bit bigger so you can see the text. You can see it popped in. I'm going to just go to next page and you can see each one is a little bit different, like added the things that it was supposed to add. And I keep scrolling. You can see these were all the productivity ones first. If I go down the line a little bit and I select another one, you can see this one is mindset. As I'm looking at this, this is too small. Maybe because, you know, I have difficulty reading, but here's the deal. If you really feel this is too small for you, all you have to do is go back in here, click on second half and increase the font size. And the other thing you can do is just generate the pages again, right? Now that you have this is bigger, it's not as big as that, but at least it's not going to be so tiny. And then just click generate 50 pages. And guess what? You've generated your pages again. Remember I warned you there was something that if you messed up, it was going to cost you. Well, this is the important thing to remember. When you download this data, you have to be very, very cognizant of making sure that when you click share and you click download, that you make sure you leave it MP4 video because you want it to be a video, but you have to download pages as separate file. If you do not do that, what is going to happen is all 50 of your posts will end up being in one file. That is not what we want. We want them in different files so that we can use them separately. We are going to just check that simple little box, hit download, and it will download all of our files for us. And that will make it so much easier for us to do our next step. Now that you've got the content created, you've got 50 posts to publish. That's a lot of content, right? Well, we have a tool called Painless Posting. It is a tool that we use for our clients and it allows us to post on multiple platforms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that content and I'm going to do something called an auto import. And I've done this before and it works out really, really well. And it helps you get your content in the system so that you can schedule it out and publish it. You can also auto publish it. It's, it's a very cool feature. This is what Painless Posting looks like. I am going to go into our 
our auto import feature that's here on the left. And you can see here, I have quotes. I have clicked this refresh so that it auto imports. And you can see here, it's just popping up 25 new posts have been added. And that's going to continue to populate my library with all of the ones that I've created. And you can see they're here and they're numbered. When I exported them as individual files on Canva, it is going to import them that way. If I click on this, for example, one, I can see there's our productivity one. Very cool, right? Here's the trick with this. I can set up my auto import be specific. And here, when I edit, I'm picking out where I want it to come from. I can have it recycle content, so it does it over and over again. I can have it require approval, which in this case I did because I didn't want it to just publish without my approval, but you could just, it's good to go. And you can have it automatically post when it's added. There are some real fancy things you can do with this. For now, I just left it so that it imported it in. And as you can see, it showed up in my content library. They're here and they're numbered. Now, what I would do is I'd go to my calendar and I'm just gonna select one of these. I'm gonna click, drag it. Now I have it going just to Instagram. If I click on this here, I can see there is my post and it's going to Instagram. The other thing that I can do is I can edit the post. I can manage it if I want to, but if you just wanna pop them on in, you do that. And you can select just post to reels only. It's gonna automatically post. If it sees it as a short form video on Instagram reels, it's going to post it to reels anyway, but you can post it only to reels and not on your feed. You can add a caption, you can add category if you want, and you can select what you want. Now here, this client has Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, but I could add TikTok and YouTube if I wanted to, and it would publish on shorts. And this would, you know, I also said it had to be approved. If I hit this requires approval, it's approved and I'm done. And that's a way that you can get your content scheduled so fast. Let's sum up. Okay. We did a lot today and I took my time explaining everything, but you can do this so fast. You go into chat GPT, you give it that prompt that gives you 50 quotes. You then go into Excel or into Google Sheets and you populate the sheet with all of your quotes. Then you go into Canva and you use the bulk import feature. Then you go into painless posting and you use the auto import feature. Those four steps get you 50 posts. Do it one a day for 50 days. Do it every weekday for 10 weeks. Pick your poison. Make it work for you. Those were the four steps that you can create 50 posts in less than five minutes. It does depend on how long it takes you to select a template out of Canva. That is where I spend mo most of my time. However, you can make this happen. And especially if you do it time and time again, it's going to be that much easier. If you need help, you know where to reach out to me, Maggie at Master at Media. And remember, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you want more information on how to create the static posts, just click here at this next video.